babies this young are extremely responsive to the emotions and the reactivity and the social interaction that they get from the world around them. This is something that we started studying oh, 30, 40 years ago when people didn't think that infants could engage in social interaction. In this still face experiment, what the mother did was she sits down and she's playing with her baby who's about a year of age. I need my girl. Oh. And she gives a greeting to the baby, the baby gives a greeting back to her. Yeah. This baby starts pointing at different places in the world and the mother's trying to engage her and play with her. They're working to coordinate their emotions and their intentions, what they want to do in the world. And that's really what the baby is used to. And then we ask the mother to not respond to the baby. The baby very quickly picks up on this. And then she uses all of her abilities to try and get the mother back. She smiles at the mother. She points because she's used to the mother looking where she points. Yeah. The baby puts both hands up in front of her and says, what's happening here? She makes that screechy sound at the mother, like, come on, why aren't we doing this? Even in this two minutes when they don't get the normal reaction, they react with negative emotions, they turn away, they feel the stress of it. They actually may lose control of their posture because of the stress that they're experiencing. a little like the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good is that normal stuff that goes on, that we all do with our kids. The bad is when something bad happens, but the infant can overcome it. After all, when you stop the still face, the mother and the baby start to play again. The ugly is when you don't give the child any chance to get back to the good is no reparation and they're stuck in that really ugly situation. Holding the session today so that you can watch it later, yeah? Okay, I'll be back in just a second. I think this is going to be good. Yeah. 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 I also think that we're going to have fun at my sister's birthday on Saturday. I love when you and I do things together as a couple. Yeah. Look, I think we already talked about this, so um, I'm not, I don't want to go. Um, just not, it's just not my thing, so I'm just going to stay home and watch TV. But you said you would. And this matters to me. It's important that we do things with my family. That we all be together. What is happening here? Are you gonna talk to me? Now you're putting up your wall, like you always do? Are you listening to okay, me? Look, I just don't see how your family reunion is my issue, okay? Right. Look, can we talk about it later? We'll talk about it later. Like, it seems like my feelings and what's important to me is never an issue with you. This matters to me, Ted. And you said you would come. Don't. 
We can talk about it later. You don't, you don't have to get so upset. This is where I feel like we're not even a couple. Like, you don't care about my feelings. And we never talk about these okay, things. Well, now you're just being critical. And that's not talking, you know? After this, I'm just gonna go back to I, work. I, I feel like I'm all alone here. Where are you, anyway? Why do you have to make such do I, a... It's like a total emotional thing. It's not a big deal, okay? Do I matter to you at all? this topic I just I shut right down it's just your family is just so intimidating and you know they're always asking questions about my career and how I'm doing and how we're doing and it just it's a little much I just I just block it out okay but it's not it's not you and you're really upset right now and I don't want to see you upset and I don't want you to think that I don't care about your feelings so or when this thing is done, we'll get out of here and we'll just, we'll talk some more. Cause you're right, we have to talk, okay? Okay, babe? All right. I'm sorry.